Welcome back to my testimony. This is Sunday Best. My name is Anthony Ndema. And thank you for joining us. Every Sunday we bring you really powerful testimonies. Today, you know, it's a mix of witchcraft, hopelessness. But through all this, God is able to, you know, raise his people and restoration comes. So we are speaking to my brother Victor, Victor Solomon Omondi. Um, Victor, we, and we are at the James Suites um, the Hotel in uh, Riverside. Amazing, amazing, lovely place. You need to check it out. Sasa umefikia mahala ambapo umemaliza kidato cha nne. You got a good grade, relatively yes. good grade. Yeah, Au kuangusha wengine. Right, right, right. Wote. Kwa hivyo ukapata nafasi ya kwenda college. Yes, nikapata nafasi. Aha, nyumbani bado mama yupo. Mama yupo. Watoto wengine bado wana Wengine wapo. Kwa hivyo bado miguu inaleta shida. Ilianza sasa ya nikupungua kwa sababu ile prayer ya atakuwa ah, tumeform right. ya ile prayer. We could yani wake up saa 7 usiku saa 9 mm. na tunaomba. Wow. And I want to tell somebody out there, yes. witchcraft is there. Aha. And there's a god in heaven. Come on. There's a God in heaven who can deliver somebody. Because sasa, hiyo maombi mm. ilifanya migui kanza sasa ya ni kutoko kwa Yeah. Wow. I kuisha tu pop, but yes. it took me some time. Okay. Like, 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 like three years. Okay. Form 4 ni kajoi ni college pale, first year, second year, but bado ilikuwa kidogo kidogo. Mm. Ati kanza ya ni kuisha, ni ilikuwa ni meza sasa kulala. Uh, shetani bado haachi mtu. Mm. Bado tuwa kitoa hii, analeta ingine. Hakanipatia Akan, alsa. Wow. So I was suffering from now ulcer, a strong one. I went to hospital, they diagnosed it, wakapata kwamba it was uh, from, is it duodenal mm. and peptic mm. and normal ulcer. Hizo zote ni kama nizelikuwa kwangu. Uyo daktari ya kauliza anti mwenye alikuwa menepele. Kapa Nairobi tu ya kwamba, uyo mtoto anaweza kuwa pado naishi na hii kitu ndani ya tumba yake. Mm. Anti ya kamambia, uyo mtoto na napenda maombi sana. Mm. Na uyo daktari ya kasema, that's why. Mm. I still remember that statement. Alifone ito dongo. That's why he still lives. So, uh, there's a God in heaven. Nikendelea hivyo, uh, nikasoma college, nikanza first year vizuri. Anko yangu, Fred Nyamolo, alikuwa na nilipesa sa school fees. Ni, I was doing hotel management. Yes. Ya, ya diploma. Sa nikendelea na hiyo course first year and second year. Remember, I'm the firstborn. I'm taking care of my mother also back at home. So, how were you doing that? Because your mom sasa likuwa nafanya kazi gani? Mama kwa nafanya kazi yake likuwa unona wale wa mama wanyumbani tu. Hana mm -hmm. chochote. Mm -hmm. Alikuwa nauza tuwa umena, maybe ah, na hizo vitu zingine. Ndogo ndogo tupale kwa soko. Right. Lakini sasa mimi pia huku niko college. Na nilikuwa napenda biashara. So, uneza chukua maindi zikiwa na beya chini kule nyumbani. Ah. Na after three months you sell them. Unakausha, yeah. unauza. Yeah, unakausha. So that is, nilichukua kwa toka kwa shosho. Yuhu likuwa napenda hiyo sana. Ah. So that is how we kept moving with life. Na tukasoma hivyo nikamaliza shule. Ah. So before ni maliza college, mamangu wakanza tena ye pia ni kukua mkonjo. Wow. Ilo uchawi sasa ya ni kime kithiri kabisa, ya ni kime pata mizizi. Me... Ah. Haka shikwa, haka chapu wa nusu ya keuku. Kumpeleka a stroke ile strong mdomo yake kenda kombo hawezi ongea hawezi fanya chochote alikuwa na ogeshwa tu pale mbona unaamini sana kwamba ulikuwa ni uchawi maana mtu lazima asaidike nilikuwa naamini kwa sababu wao walikuwa wanakuja kwa bomba na wanasema wanajitangaza wao wenyewe mm. ya kwamba mlikuja huku mkifikiria huku mtaishi lazima tutadeal na nyinyi vizuri because hii shamba si yenu mlinunua wow. Na mwenye alibozia hii shamba pia ikuwa yake. Mm. So it was about tulinua shamba kutoko kwa watu. Unaona ah, mapupa mayo. Right. And that area everybody believed. And it just a rumors. Unaona. Wow. Hata mutu wakikufa walikuwa wana it how. Mm. Oh, we end ya memaliza yoboma. Yende maliza. Mm. Now, now pia wana confess. Mkicheza na sisi mtaona. So we lived with fear. Ah. Eh. And kwa sababu hii likuwa uchawi. Mama yetu pia alikuwa anapenda Mungu sasa alikuwa anapenda maombi. Mm. Lakini siku moja kuna mzee fulani alikuwa amekuja aka graze ngombe kwa kwa kwa, kwa, kwa kumpa, yetu. Yes. Na mama akamuliza, "Unanifanyia hivi kwa sababu mimi mume wangu alishakufa mm. na sina mtu wa kunitetea." Na huyo mzee akanyosha hizi mm. hizi ma mtonga nini? Bakora. Eh bakora. Mm. Amuisha, "We. Utaniona. Utaniona. The following day mama yetu alikuwa amechapwa na stroke kali sana 
yeye baada ya kusema hivyo na kuirudi tena ku yani ku graze ngombe hapo mm. so we believe that thing was happening right and was there na kama kuna mtu mwenye ameokoka kuna vile you will sense in the spirit mm. there are some of the things there are some forces right. which are not normal kwa sababu mimi pia sizilipigana na mimi True. na maombi tu ndio ilinitoa hapo wow. hata wakati niko college tu bado tu nime nimepuka jali mbili mm. na nikuwa gari niko attachment gari tu naenda na mimi niko pale mbele na watu wanaumia kabisa na kumbuka moja watu waliumia kabisa mm. mimi nikawa tu hapa tu kwa meno tu ndio nilikuwa nimegongwa eh, nikasema god still this is you mm. so me i just believe there's god in heaven now wow. mamango akachapa na stroke akawa mgonjwa sasa hajiwezi kabisa. Huku pia pale mimi niko college, niko karibu kumaliza. Mateso tu bado yako pale. I still suffer from alsa. Sikuli oh, skuma, sikuli hii, sikuli hii, sikuli. So nilikuwa na depend to kwa macho kila zingine ndogo ndogo tu. And that one was the life. Yes. Tukaendelea. Nikamwambia Mungu jambo. Unajua vijana wanapenda yani mama yao sana. Yes. Nikamwambia mom, nikamwambia God, I love my mother so much. And uh those people dealt with my father mm. and my father went but now my mother will not go we will fight for we her will to the very fight end fight for her to live wow na mimi nikasema ya kwamba kwa sababu nimeokoka na ninampenda Mungu mm. na kuna maandiko siko najua hata ni wapi but nilikuwa nimesikia kutoka kwa mubiri fulani yes. nikasema kwamba don't allow yeah. the witchcraft yes. the sorcerers and the wizards uh-huh. to live among us you wow. sasa mimi nikashika hiyo andiko nikaanza kuona ulikuwa na knowledge nilikuwa na knowledge nikasema kwamba there's God in heaven and then God must fight for me whatever yani 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 whatever this battle so right. i started then praying na naomba kwa hiyo scripture siku moja nikao mwendo wazima i was almost in nini yani clearing my 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 and my college mamangu ni mgonjwa hako hosi amelazwa almost like in two months hawezi fanya chochote mm. yani shida tupo mimi niko tu kwa shida hakuna mani hakuna raha nikapanda gari hizi za kutoka Isilizi na kuja Nairobi hizi ma hizi ma 3 yes. i was going for some some my practical ili ya last last uh-huh. alafu nimalize na kuna wimbo mmoja nilikuwa nimependa sana kutoka Tanzania wimbo ulikuwa unasema hivi namba unayopiga ipatikani kwa sasa uh-huh. hata ukipiga dae baadaye utonipata mimi ye. umekosea e umekosea namba umekosea e. shetani umekosea namba sasa hiyo wimbo kukawa kinamjali nikamwambia shetani umekosea namba round hii <laughs> ukipiga hiyo namba hautapata uli dial na ulipata mtu lakini yani round yani you will not get somebody there wow sasa nikawa niko pale kwa gari nimekaa nyuma nikaimba hiyo wimbo alafu nikasema round namba kwa gari tu watu wakashtuka watu wakaamka wote kwa hiyo seat the last seat kwa mababa watu sita watu wakatoka wote mtu hajashuka lakini ametoka amesimama ameshika ile ile chuma ya juu kuna mwendo wazimu hapa nilikuwa nimetulia tu kwa gari tu lakini nikashtuka tu wrong number hata mimi nikawa nikasema wrong number again people are like kuna mchawi ama kuna mwendo wazimu kwa gari because nilikuwa najua yale ambayo inapitia i started praying na nika nikotumia ile scripture which says don't allow yes nikasema round hii mama yetu will not die wow. that guy will go mm. and uh, nikauliza mungu jambo whether this thing is just and so powerful in me nikamwambia mungu don't allow means what mwenye amezaliwa kwa hiyo boma nimfukuze na nimzee ama nifanyaje wow. don't allow how will i move this person there right. and something just came akasema kwamba if at all he cannot move then let him die wow. na mimi nikasema wakufe wachai wote wakufe Wacha wakufe. We will not allow them to live. I don't know what happened. I don't know, but I thank God mm. that Muse went to be with the Lord. <laughs> Na mimi kupanda gari. Eh. Let's just say he went. He went. I don't know where he went, <laughs> but he went. Unajua wakisha enda sasa unajua ameenda wapi? But alikufa. Mm-hmm. Sasa mimi nikamaliza mtihani wangu. Nikapanda gari. Asubuhi na mapema saa 11 mamangu ni mgonjwa. Nikujua yani ukimaliza uk, 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 exam ni kwenda, ni kwenda. Nikapanda Nyamira. Zilikuwa zinaenda mbio zikasema hii itanifikisha mapema sana. Uh-huh. Kufika pale na shuka kwa stage vijana mmoja walikuwa na zile motorbike za kitambo zile zile mabodaboda before yes, kipigi yes, kemo. Uh, uh, Ananiambia, "Oh, Vicky, poleni sana kwa msiba. Karibu nianguke chini." Nikajua Kajua mamangu yule mwenye alikuwa mgonjwa ndiye ame ameenda. Na before nianguke chini akaniambia unaona yule mzee ayuko tena yule mwenye jirani yenu pale oh, ameokotwa asubuhi wow. 
kama amekufa kiroho kindani nikasema thank you jesus i didn't want him to know whatever was happening but nikasema to thank you lord for answering my prayers mm. na nika declare hapo kwa boda boda tu wakati amenibeba kwamba kwa sababu wameenda mamangu yupo na ataishi ataishi nika we need to move story yako iko ah, na God. layers eh? so so mama akaanza kuwa better mama akaanza kuwa better Aha. i went to the hospital nikampata pale aliponiona alikuwa melala tu angefanya chochote aliamka hivi na kaka dadangu mwenye wow. alikuwa anamwangalia mkubwa anaitwa Grace alipomuona ananu ananuka hivyo akashika akakama something sandu. miracle yes. it has happened it, 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 uh, yani, yani, uh, wow. you know and uh, we prayed with her in the hospital na kama mama do you know what tunarudi kwa nyumba wow mm. daktari walikuwa hao masa saba wamekuja pale uh, kufanya hiyo inatonga nini yeah. check up akapata yeah, kama naomba nikavurugana na wao vibaya sana ni good district hospital nikamwambia kwamba no 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 I have to pray for this mother you yeah. go to look walienda they gave me the chance to pray <laughs> kumalizia mamangu nikaenda kwa yule mwingine kwa yule mwingine kwa yule mwingine yeah. and I thank god after yeah. one week tu mamangu alitolewa na mpaka leo yupo and she is well she is well wow praise god amen so nikatoka pale nikawa sasa nimeanza na ile mioto ya God. Yes. Kasema there is God in heaven. Come on. Mimi sasa nikaoa. Mm-hmm. Najua ukifika umri ya kuoa pale lazima mtu aoe. Yes. Nikasema kwamba nimefika umri ya kuoa na nimemaliza college nikapata hizi makazi zingine huku town eh. hizo kidogo kidogo. <laughs> uh-huh. I said I will now marry. Nikapata msichana mzuri sana. Yes. Nikamwoa. Tukafanya harusi. Harusi pia nikasema kwamba kwa sababu nimeokoka let me go back home. Yes. And show people that It kumbe is... vijana wanaweza fanya harusi. Yes. Kwa kule nyumbani kana. watu wanaoa bila harusi. Hey. People just go to yani hey, tu tupatane. Uh, uh, but me I said because my pastor huko amefanya harusi assistant pastor huko amefanya harusi wa ushago huko. Ah. Wote walikuwa wanaoa. Nikasema kwamba me because I've seen some Umeona a small light. light. Let me show them. Yes. So I took the wedding home up country. Wow. Nikafanya harusi kubwa sana. Na at this point you know you know I've heard a lot about witchcraft. Wanasema <coughs> ukifaulu usiende nyumbani usiende nyumbani wewe ulikuwa umeona mwangaza na umejua hii vita mm. ulipigana ukashinda mamako kampigania akashinda Kishinda. so fia ilikuwa imeanza kuondoka fia ilikuwa imeanza kuondoka ile nyumba babangu alikuwa ameacha kama jamaliza nikamaliza wow. nikasema kama mimi sitakufa na hapa sasa mama tuami right. mama akasema mtasema hapa yani to cut it short god did it everything is good like so it. mimi nikaoa alright nikarudi Nairobi na mke wangu tukaanza maisha Ah, uh, nilikuwa sasa yani strong kidogo. Yes. Sasa sasa niko sawa. Tukaza mtoto wa kwanza. Yeah. Anito purity precious Omondi nampenda sana mtoto wangu. Yeah. Akaendelea Mungu akatubariki na mtoto mwingine. Right. Second born. Second born. Yes. Now. Huyo alipokuja akakaa kitu kama ni sema siku tatu. Siku tatu nne hivi. Mtoto akatuacha. Ah, alizaliwa tu vizuri tu. Mimba yake ilikuwa vizuri tu. Mm. Ah, uh, Okay, walikuwa wanajaribu kusema kwamba ni ni baridi because alizaliwa mwezi wa saba. Mm. So they were saying because of the cold maybe uh, uh, the baby has, has gotten the what the, the, the pneumonia yes. thing. So that thing happened like that and uh, I'm like oh god why me? Because anyway ni, ni sawa. So so ulienda spit, uliambiwa vipi? How, how nilipoenda hospitali mm. si mtoto amezaliwa vizuri? Yes. Normal tukamtoa mtoto hosi tukampeleka kwa nyumba uh-huh. so everything was normal right. so hiyo siku hata nikiwa in fact nilikuwa off so niko na mtoto wangu na niko na mke wangu kila mtu anayeko kwa nyumba mm-hmm. baisa moja mtoto anatuacha alikuwa analialia tu kutoka asubuhi tu just uh-huh. normal tu kulia tu na alipass just like that nyumbani yeah tukiwa hapo mmoja mtoto wetu wow. akatuacha ili ni hit sana kwa sababu kwetu kukuwa na mtu mwenye amezika mtu mwenye amepata mm. changamoto kama hayo yani tu waza so nikashindwa mbona tena mateso na umeanza ku the devil will fight yeah. he will not stop he will really fight akitoka kwa hii ana yeah. skim nyingine yeah. akitoka kwa hiyo ana skim nyingine so so akachukua you know, pale mtoto wangu have, i've just started getting better Bera. you've gotten your first child yes wow now tukao pale mimi nikamwambia mama kwa sababu tumeza wa kwanza yupo mm. na wa pili ameenda let us stop there kidogo because ile uoga uh, what will happen came back uh, mimi nikaanza kusikia kama mimi ni muoga tu mm. nasikia mimi ni muoga muoga tu kabisa sasa nikasema kwamba let us stop giving birth now wow. uh, did you think about the witchcraft again no 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 i no, kuja no, no. yeah i kuja so 2016 pale god blessed us again with another baby boy right called joel austin yes. nikashukuru mungu kasema ulinipatia msana twende pole pole hapo oh. so mka, so mke wako akapata ujauzito yes tena 
did you get scared when she was about to get the baby? Actually, I was scared of the baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was scared of the baby. I was scared of the baby. I was Again, normal. So I was normal to fry. Yeah, I was fry. What was going to be normal? And I was going to fry the baby. And I was going to fry the baby. And I was going to fry the baby. But now I was going to fry the baby. Yes, yes. I was going to fry the baby. I was going to fry the baby. And I was going to say, thank you, Jesus. So I was so happy. I was going to fry the baby. 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 Oh, so you went to the house to get the chakula, and you got the chakula to the hospital. I was going to ask you to get the chakula, but the car is going to get the chakula. Because of the fire. Excitement. Excitement. I was going to get the chakula to the doctor. I was going to say, oh, you're going to get the chakula. I was going to get the chakula. I was going to get the chakula to the hospital. Yes. The mother was going to get the chakula. I was going to get the chakula to the hospital. So your fear was accelerated? uliona kitu ili happen kwa mtoto wa pili itatendeka tena at that point at that point sasa tunaongea about about the second one yes sasa aliponipigia simu mimi nikajua tu mtoto amekufa mm. kwa sababu ya fear wow na kwa kweli alikuwa amekufa oh no amezaliwa hivyo tu alikuwa tu salama by sane ana develop to this breathing g what system at his breath anapeleka kwa oxygen pale wife naye alikuwa amezirai hawezi fanya chochote yeye atajui ajijui sasa namba na kadao na kampatia unasi na akani call siku panda tagari nilikimbia kutoka mudhurwa mpaka ngara dispensary because huko ndio alikuwa huko so kufika huko kuingia but niko na hiyo fear tu so kufika ananiambia angalia mtoto kumwangalia kapata kama mena it was ili ni hit zaidi nikajiuliza kwani Mungu wewe upo ama wewe upo mbona changamoto hizi zote mimi tu tangu nizaliwe mpaka leo sijakuwa na amani na wala amani haiko kwa nyumba yangu ni nini nilikukosea so nikauliza Mungu maswali pale and people uh, outside here i don't know how people behave but mimi nilikuja ene kuogopa watu Niko katika hiyo machungu lakini bado napigiwa simu na watu wananiambia huyo mke mwenye umemwoa hakuna shida mfukuza huyo mwanamke arudi kwao because yeye ndio and I was like is it really women ndio wanakuwa na changamoto women na tunanga shida mm. so wao walikuwa na mwanamke ndio akona shida and I'm like even women we can have a problem yeah. so wao walikuwa wanapiga simu nifukuze huyo mwanamke wow. arudi nyumbani yeye ndio ameleta laana. Yeye ndio ameleta laana. And uh, my wife stood with me and uh, she told me something. Daddy don't cry much because mimi ndio nilikuwa nalia. Tu mama hata alikuwa very comfortable. Yeye yeah, alikuwa anaona kwamba mimi niko down sana na alikuwa analewa story zangu. Mm. So alikuwa anajua ya kwamba yeye pia akiwa mtu ambaye yani analia mimi nitakufa zaidi. So mm. yeye kuwa pale juu sasa mimi sasa niko down. So yeye alionambia daddy don't worry. This is you and this is me. We will still give birth. Nakamwambia wewe chizi akili yako imeruka kama ni nini? Mtoto amekufa na bado unanebea mambo kama haya. Mm. So she stood very strong. Wow. Na alikuwa naomba sana hata kunishinda. Mm. Na akaniambia daddy utapata mtoto mwingine. I don't know what happened. Katika hiyo hali one month haikuisha mom aka conceive tena. So this is the fourth child. This so mtoto wa kwanza yupo? Yupo. Wa pili amekufa. Yeye wa pili amekufa. Watatu wamekufa. Watatu wamekufa. Yeah, 20, 2013 na huo mwingine 2016. Mm. So hawako. Sasa mimi niko pale na shindwa ni nini inaendelea. Katika hiyo hali hata one month haikuisha mama aka conceive. Na so mimi what, what came to your mind when she conceived? Uliingiwa na uoga ukasema na uoga. Mm. Siku ingiwa na because mimi nilikuwa na believe hakuna mtoto mwingine yani ataza. So yeye yes. anasema akona ball mimi nasema hakuna ball. Uli deny? Mi ni deny kabisa. <laughs> Amebeba lafu to make it more good or more worse. I don't know mm. how wengine vile wa mama wana behave, wana, wana call, zizi wana yeah. tapika. Uyu hakuna morning sickness, nothing, nothing, nothing. It was very gentle. Mpaka mwezo wa sita, mpaka nikamuliza wewe, umebeba mawe hapa kwa tumbo wa ama umebeba mtoto. Because mimi naona something is happening, yeah, lakini I don't believe. My, yani mind yangu liko meenda, liko ni meruko kabisa. Mm. I could not believe there's a child. Anambia dadi mtoto anacheza buwe kakichu, weseweka maskio. Maskio, I could not. So kaendelea hivyo tu, kaendelea hivyo tu, mpaka kafika mahali pa kuzaa. Mi bado na dinai, hakuna mtoto. Nika nikamfuata hosi. Mimi tu bado siamini because najua tu hizo vitu bado yeah. zipo. Uli ulifunga ukasema maana yake ulikuwa unajua and there's a point here ambayo nimeacha. 
I stood firm with her kwa sababu alisimama pia na mimi akaniambia dadia kuna mali tunaenda hatuachani mm. tunapendana na kwa sababu unanipenda mimi siwezi watafanyani kukuacha yeah. hata kama kulikuwa na hizo maforces fukuza huyo mwanamke aende mambo kama hayo but tulisimama na yeye wow. tukapata mtoto mwingine kijana wanne wanne anaitwa prince noel israel what happened mtoto alipozaliwa tu niliogopa hata kwenda kumuona uliogopa niliogopa kwenda kumuona haukutaka whatever happened to recover yes nilimpeleka hospitali mimi nikamwacha mm. nikarudi kukuona na yule msichana mwingine ni kwa nyumba right. sasa huko nikiwa pale na lia na pia naomba na changanyikiwa mm. kabisa mm. sasa katika hiyo hali saa 4 usiku akanipigia dadi tumepata, tumepata mtoto nikamwambia hey. aje imekuwa aje kamba au oh, mtoto yuko na kwa salama nikamwambia sawa mtoto yuko yani bado namuuliza tu yani because yes. yani i don't believe yeah. so mimi nikalala pale na home sana mwingine the following day nikaenda kumuona nikapata mtoto nikamtoa nikamleta kwa nyumba tukamshukuru Mungu sana tukaanza ile maombi yes. pia ile maombi kabisa kwa sababu once beaten twice yeah. shy so yeah. tulikuwa yeah. najua kwa sababu alikuwa amekuja hapa na kachukua mwingine na mwingine mm. najua anaweza kuja tena mm. so tuka form prayers so tulikuwa tunaomba noel israel yuko mpaka leo na nashukuru oh. Mungu sana for hold ako for years and attend for years the yeah, first baby ako ako, ako 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 size 11 years 11 years yeah. wow mm. na mmeshikana na mke wako bado tuko naye siku mwacha wow. wala yakuniacha bado tuko pamoja and your mother is doing well at yeah, home yeah my mother is also doing well your brothers wameendelea wamesoma yeah wameendelea ni masomesha kidogo kidogo yani wow. wako na mali pao wow. wameoa almost wote wameoa come on yes so nashukuru mungu so, so there's from, god in heaven from his beginnings uh, shida zote mm mpaka kwa mareji yako mm. what can you say about this god <clears throat> naweza sema ya kwamba one principle ambayo mimi nakuanga nayo na mimi nisaidia sana na nimejifunza kutoka kwa my wife uh, the book of john chapter ni j- j- sorry job chapter 42 inasema ya kwamba job when job prayed for his friends mm. and the other people yes. god turned the captivity mm. of job and he blessed him more in fact he was given twice So we have come to learn something ya kwamba it's not about me 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 mm. ipraya mungu ni bariki mungu ni inue mungu toache hiyo maombi kidogo because when you will pray for some other people god will answer your prayer so yeah. i've seen it works yeah. we develop that culture of praying for our friends marriages families ambayo watu wako na divorce wako na wrangles so we started praying for You see People. we stopped about us. Kwetu wow. hakuna hiyo kitu ya Mungu bariki huyu mtoto bariki huyu sijui ni mgonjwa tunanga hiyo maombi. Tukianza maombi ni kugonga vitu zingine familia mm. ambazo zime break mm. vitu kama hizo and tumeona God akijibu maombi yetu sana. Wow. So there's power in praying for friends. Wow. Hiyo ndio tunafanya okay. and God has been so faithful Amen. on our side. Wow. Yes. So there's God, God in heaven who can even deal with witchcraft and okay. sorcerers. Lovely. Yeah, when you stand up I love you radicalism <laughs> for god it's a good thing and it served you many 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 things probably yeah. you will have gone today long time ago my brother thank you very much to una mimi unafanya pia muziki mzuri mzuri watu kupate vipi kwenye mtandao unafanya muziki nimefanya muziki mingi sana yes. naitwa victor eddy yeah. kwa youtube kwa instagram victor eddy kwa kwa skype victor eddy kwa All facebook right. victor eddy just scroll victor eddy utanipata pale Alright. God will bless you so much with those songs. Amen. Amen. Lovely testimony by Victor Solomon Victor Edio Mondi. And I hope that has blessed you to realize that God is real and he changes situations. What I've learned is that you need to persist. Don't 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 allow him to win. Keep persisting. Keep, Keep persisting. praying. Yes. Keep praying. Mm. And you will win. All right? So God bless you. Thank you so much for joining us. We meet again next Sunday. Baraka tele and have an amazing week may the lord give you a beautiful testimony Heshimu Mungu 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 Welcome to Gem Suites Hotel and Luxury Service Department. We are located on Riverside Drive and State House Crescent. We offer a wide array of services including short and long term accommodation, top of the line events venues and conference facilities, as well as our signature restaurant Argenti, which is open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. 
call us, log on to our website at gemsweets.com and follow us on our social media platforms to stay updated on our offerings and to get more information about us. Looking forward to serving you. Thank you. Mano